Hey guys, I had a lot of questions about what I'm using to make the videos and just wanted to run through that list for you real quick if you plan on shooting some videos while you're riding. I use a GoPro Hero 10 mounted on the top. This does have the media mod on there so I can plug in my microphone, which is right here. That runs down into the inside of the helmet. And then on the inside right here, I have the brand new it's a Movo ACM 400 flexible gooseneck. That has cut down on some of the spiking I was getting on the audio from the last microphone that I was using. Um, I've only used that for a couple of times now. We're gonna keep experimenting with that, but that has been working extremely well. And then when you get where you're going, um, all you have to do is take the GoPro off of the helmet and I also picked up the Volta. Now this handle has about the equivalent of three additional GoPro batteries in there. And with the quick mount, you just simply slip this back on there and then you plug in this cord into the back of the media mod and you're in business that quick. And you can shift back and forth between hand holding and taking that to uh, different sites that you want to see while you're off the motorcycle. When you get back on the motorcycle, you simply put it right back on. While you're using it, you can always put it on its tripod and this uh, flexible head turns so you can adjust this any way you really want that. It turns all the way around. So there's a lot of different uh, aspects that you can use the Volta for, whether it's having it on the tripod or just handheld for vlogging. There's a, a lot you can do. So I hope that explains some of the equipment and uh, offer more riding and more videos. Uh, the new microphone that we have on board. I was using a different microphone for all of the previous videos. So we're gonna compare the audio on this one to those. And uh, I was getting a lot of cracking, uh, particularly at highway speeds like this. Uh, right now we're on cruise control, 71 miles an hour. And uh, the old microphone would just crackle every time uh, wind hit it or puff hit it. This is the new Movo microphone. I'm going to put a link in the description uh, to this video below. So if you guys want to pick up this microphone, if you like the way that it sounds, we're going to post that for you and uh, run it through a few tests. Right now, I have my visor cracked open just a little bit. And what I'm going to do is close it down right there. Now it's closed down and I think that's going to be a little too muffled uh, from what I can hear on the inside of the helmet right now. So I think when you're going down the highway, just to give it a little better audio, if we keep uh, the visor cracked open just a hair, it works a little bit better. So there we go. The visor's cracked back open just a little bit. There may be a little more uh, wind noise on there, but overall, this is a boom microphone and uh, it attaches right inside of uh, I have a modular LS2 helmet, which I absolutely love. It becomes a three-quarter helmet or full face. When I'm recording, I use it in the full face configuration and the boom microphone just comes right down around in the front uh, out of the wind stream. So we'll see how that comes out on the audio. And if you like this, go ahead and pick one up. They're not that expensive. Uh, I think on Amazon, I paid 25 bucks for it. So. We'll see how it does. Now, as a lot of you guys know, gold wings are not loud. Um, you know, Harleys have the pipes and there's aftermarket pipes for the bikes and all. But they do sound more like a, a Porsche Flat 6. So I was just going to run up through the gears here for you and uh, let you take a listen to just a stock gold wing and what it sounds like. That's the sound of a gold wing under acceleration. Gotta love it. So there you go. There's your results. Thanks for coming along with us. This is Den with D2 Destinations. We'll see you next time. Please remember to like and subscribe so we can bring you more video.